Magician P.T. Salbert originated one of the most recognisable magic tricks in the world, soaring through a woman. At the time, commentators called the illusion a bloodthirsty and hair-raising spectacle. You can understand why. The man who came to be known as P.T. Salbert was born Percy Thomas Tibbles in Hampstead, London in 1881. As a young man, he became an apprentice to a silversmith, which led him to his interest in magic. While working as an apprentice, he met magician Charles Murray, who leased space at the silversmith's shop. Tibbles learnt card tricks and illusions from Merrick's collection. In the early 1900s, Tibbles started to write and perform under a pseudonym derived from his own name. He reversed the order of the letters in his surname and removed one B to become P.T. Selbit. Over the next 20 years, he performed seances and illusions across Great Britain, gaining in popularity. The most famous illusion act associated with the magician is sawing a woman in half. The magic community largely credits him as the first person to perform this illusion in public. His charm we offered in our jewellery auction has amazing provenance, with the engraving on it reading, Soaring through a woman, with P.T. Selbit's compliments. A woman called Gladys was given the charm in 1921 for taking part in the illusion. Her granddaughter tells the story. This gold saw was given to my grandmother by magician P.T. Selbit for assisting in his Soaring through a woman in half act, at his show at the Finsbury Park Empire in 1921. It's been kept by my family ever since. Members of the audience were invited on stage to help with the act and my grandmother took part. This wonderful charm had an estimate of 30 to 50 pounds, but with 14 different bidders, reached a hammer price of 1,450 pounds.